What is up, everybody? Thank you guys for checking out the channel. Thank you for watching my very first video. My name is Zach. My girlfriend's supposed to be right here. All right here she is. <laughs> this is my girlfriend, Tiffany. So this channel is gonna kind of be about our animals and all the cool projects we got going on. Got a bunch of snakes and lizards, cool stuff like that. But specifically, it's gonna be about the badass greenhouse project we got going on. We're building a big old jungle greenhouse. So if that type of stuff interests you, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like this video and then comment down below specifically what you wanna see more videos of. And uh, Keep watching to see the greenhouse. So this is the greenhouse and come on in, check it out. So you're probably wondering why we built this giant greenhouse. And you're probably thinking we did it to grow some food or grow some crops or something, but we didn't. We're making a tropical jungle. So you gotta imagine this, but we're gonna have big old plants in it. We're gonna have birds. We're gonna have like turtles, tortoises, a lot of different types of reptiles, tree frogs, chameleons. It's gonna be really sweet. Right here, we're gonna do a big like 2000 gallon tropical pond. It's gonna be pretty sweet. Gonna have some really cool big tropical fish in it. So if you're into tropical plants, you're into animals, you're into birds, you're into aviaries, or you're just into cool stuff like this, because be honest with me, this is one of the coolest things you ever heard of, okay? But if you're into stuff like that, you're definitely gonna wanna follow along to check this out, guys. I promise it is gonna be sick. We've got a ton of work done so far in the greenhouse. We've really been working our asses off on this, but we still have a ton of work to go, unfortunately. So let me get you caught up a little bit of what we've done so far, what we're working on right now. So we basically dug a big pit in the ground. It's about 20 by 33 foot. And then we installed our geothermal, like heating and cooling system. I'll explain a little bit more about that in the future. But we installed all that, backfilled it. So then the rest of this is really only like two to three feet deep. And then we poured a concrete foundation. We set up this little block wall here. This was our first time doing block wall. So that was a lot of work, but I think we did a pretty good job at it. And then once the block wall was done, we started working on framing. So you can see these metal ribs here through the plastic. Those are made out of one inch EMT conduit. And we use those for all of the ribs going down. And then we wood framed the front and the back. We used a uh, redwood. And then we water sealed it because it's going to be super humid in there. So I don't really want anything rotten. And then we use this plastic greenhouse film. So this is, I think it's either six or eight mil film. I can't remember. We got everything from farm tech and uh, it's UV treated and everything. It's made for greenhouses. And you can see it's all inflated like this, right? It's like a little bubble. That's because we got this little inflation pump up here. That's the intake for it. What that does is it pumps air in between the two layers and fills it up and that keeps it tight so we don't have to deal with wind damage. It really makes it pretty strong in the wind. You'd be surprised. And then it also helps insulate it, make it a little bit better for heating and cooling and stuff like that. And this, everybody always asks what the plastic's held on with. We use this wiggle wire and channel. So if you're curious more about that, let me know in the comments. If you guys are curious about anything really, just let me know in the comments and I'll can do a vid specific video explaining whatever you wanna know. But that's how the plastic's all secured. So. Come on inside and let me explain to you a little bit more about that. So this is what the inside looks like. You can see the wood frame and the EMT that I was talking about. And also everybody always asks how this EMT is held in. We got rebar and stuff in this block. So in some of the sections that get concreted solid, we just put a bigger piece of EMT in and then these ribs slide into that and drill in. So that's how everything's secured. And it is super secure. It's way stronger than you'd think. Everything looks really good. But, so this is what we got. It's basically a big pit with nothing. But uh, this is the geothermal piping I was explaining. So it's corrugated perforated drain pipe, ADS drain pipe perforated. It has to be perforated 
because water will condensate down in there and it has to have somewhere to go. So basically everything underground is perforated pipe and then above ground, this is just ducting. We round this up, this little booster fan. And then you can see we got our main fans up there. So what that does is it pumps the hot air from the top of the greenhouse, pumps it down through the cool ground and cools the air down. And then it comes out over here during the day when it's hot, it comes out as cooler air. So it helps keep the greenhouse from getting too hot. And then at night, it's taking the cold air from the top because that's where the wind hits and stuff. So at night, the top of the greenhouse has the coldest air, takes that cold air and pumps it down through that somewhat heated up ground and just helps heat it up a little bit like on the cold winter nights and stuff like that. So that's really the purpose of that. I can explain it more in depth if you guys want, but that's all I'm gonna say for now. So we got that all done. Right now, what we're working on is we got all these vents. They're just kind of temporarily rigged up so it's not getting too humid in here. We got these vents and then over on that opposite side, we got a big 24 inch exhaust fan. So that's all installed. We're just waiting to finish getting power run out here so we can get everything hooked up and working properly. We got all the power about ready to go. We got the trench dug, we got all the conduit laid. And tomorrow we're gonna pull all the wires through and get everything hooked up. And then we're gonna start actually running outlets and everything out here. And then once that's done, we're gonna start bringing dirt in. I'll show you the dirt we got outside. So after the power's all run, we gotta start getting dirt in there. So we're putting down a layer of weed barrier inside there just to separate the native dirt. So you can see this is the native dirt. It's really just, it's like hard clay. It packs really hard. So it's not gonna be good for the tropical plants that we're getting. So, so far we brought in a whole dump truck of this new dirt. You can see this stuff's dark, it's nutrient rich. It has a lot of like mulch and compost and stuff in it. So this is gonna be the base for our dirt mix. We're gonna add some other things as needed. We're gonna start with this. So we gotta figure out how to get this in there. I haven't decided if I'm gonna rent equipment to do it yet or if we're just gonna wheelbarrow it. I don't know. But basically once this is done, we're gonna start working on the pond. The pond is gonna be really cool. I'll explain more about that in future videos and things are really just gonna start coming together fast, guys. So you're gonna to wanna to follow along and you're gonna to wanna to check it out, I promise you. All right, guys, that is gonna be it for this video. Where are you going? But that's gonna be it for this video. So make sure if you guys are interested and like what you see, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like the video, comment down below specifically what you wanna see more of, and then you might get lucky. You might get to see this girl choke me and eat me. I'm just kidding, she's pretty nice. Are you recording? All right, guys, welcome to the channel. This is the greenhouse. This is all the shit. There's some stuff, there's some shit, there's some dirt some other shit. what are you gonna do about it?